my compost bin is not balanced. It's actually my fault. Poor management is going to get you in a situation like this. Tiny flies, you might find them in your compost. But that's okay. I'd actually be a little bit more concerned if there were no bugs in here at all. Composting is just the process of organic materials breaking down. And it wouldn't be possible without fungi, bacteria, ants, earthworms, and those vinegar flies are no exception. They're just attracted to the fermentation process that's happening inside of this hot compost bin. And it does happen sometimes. It may seem gross. It's just natural. It's nature. That's why I collect cardboard. Anytime I have cardboard, I just throw it into this pile. And then when I need it, I go and take this up to my shredder. This is a 15 sheet, 20 pound paper shredder. And all of this is just going to get tossed into the compost and that's gonna add that dry material, that carbon that the compost is currently missing. And the easiest solution to balance your compost bin is to add either more browns or more greens. And in this case, because the compost already has too many greens, I'm going to be adding my dry materials. And after a few days, it's gonna balance out. Those flies will, will go away. And if this is something that's happened to you or you all of a sudden have an increase of moisture in your own bin, add the browns, add the dead leaves, the cardboard, the paper, let that cardboard absorb all of that moisture. The reason this compost bin is a little on the wet side, a little on the damp side is because my ratios were off and that's just poor practices. On top of the mistake of not adding enough of my browns when I've been adding too much of my greens, we also had record high temperatures and it was a speedy increase of heat in this hot bin. So now it's a little soggy. So I'm adding my second bin. It's a sunny day, it's very windy out, and it's a perfect day to let some natural wind dry out this bin. And because right now the season's fall, I'm lucky I have a lot of dried leaves that I can add to the top of the bin. Now, because it's a quick fix, I'm just gonna leave that compost bin alone for a few days, meaning that I'm going to stop adding into the compost. I'm not gonna add any of my kitchen scraps and I don't wanna stop composting. So what I'll probably do is just add um, all of my kitchen scraps into a Ziploc bag. A great tip is to keep your kitchen scraps in the freezer. And when my compost bin is finally balanced, I'll just take everything from that freezer and dump it in as I go. So I'm still continuing the composting. I'm just slowed down the process. It is about to rain. I don't need this bin getting wet, so I will put the lid on and let it be. It's been six days since I added all that extra material, all that cardboard into the compost, and I'm just gonna take a peek. Flies are gone. Not much is going on in this bin. Having the lid off for a couple of days, adding all of that cardboard, paper, adding the, uh, the dry leaves on top, seems to have solved the problem. This is a week later, still no flies, and I added the cardboard to prep for winter. So I compost 365 days of the year. I add the cardboard in here so that when the thaw happens in the springtime, everything can get absorbed nicely, and it also helps keep some heat. And if you wanna learn about proper bin management, there's a video I've linked at the top. But if you continue on with best practices, you will have a balanced compost bin.